Welcome back everyone, hope you are well. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Awk. A-W-K, Awk, it's his own weird programming language. It's, if I remember correctly, I think it is actually Turing complete and you can actually do all kinds of stuff with Awk. But what it's really great for and what it's known for is really excellent one-liners dealing with tabular data. Um, like CSVs, TSVs, and just you know st structured data like that. And uh, we're going to run through some examples today and talk a little bit about awk. So I got a file here, and the file will be uploaded into a gist on GitHub, and I will link that in the description for you all. But awk is a really, really useful tool. I use it all the time. It is really great for, for instance, pulling out uh, delimited fields from a string of text. For instance, I'm going to echo hello world, this is Brian, into awk, and I'm going to print out dollar sign one, dollar sign five. You might be able to infer what this is going to do. So it prints out hello Brian. Well, that's the first and the last field of this text string. So awk is really cool because you can easily just print out a single field or item from this list. And this list is just being a string, and the string is broken out by spaces. Now with awk, you almost always want to use single quotes, and inside the curly braces are the actual actions you're performing. There's a lot of documentation out on awk, and there's a lot to know about it. We're just going to run through some basics today. But for the most part, we're just going to run stuff through uh, curly braces. So if I echo this entire like multi-line list of you know four column records, you know the person's name, the their classification, the what type of um, area they work in, and maybe their salary, and I'm going to pipe all of this into awk, and I'm just going to run the print command. So if I run this, it's going to just print everything. Awk just says print, print it all. But what happens if we print just num dollar sign four? Well, this is probably going to, be, going to do what you infer, and it's just going to give me the numbers. So this is a really useful tool because say you want to list, you know, sum up all of these numbers. Awk is a great way of pulling out all of these values and then doing other things with other programming languages or maybe even Awk itself. To be honest, I found doing, um, you know, aggregate uh, calculations such as, you know, sum of all of this a little bit more complicated than what I wanted to show in this video today, but it is possible. So we can also selectively output uh, certain fields. So if we take the exact same list of values and we're going to run a regular expression on them and pull out specific records. So let's say, for instance, you would normally get, get like a file and you'd grep it into awk and you'd say grep, say manager, and you're going to get every line that has the word manager in it. Then you're going to pipe that output into awk and then return a numbered field. Well, with this, we could actually use a um, one process less in that script. In this case, we just have awk. We're going to take the file or the, the input contents, and we're going to get those three records that said manager. So awk can take a regular expression like this and then performs the actual output, uh, the actual action, which is print in this instance. Well, if we want to see only the salaries for just the managers out of this, you know, hypothetically million line file or however many employees there are here, we could easily just say, you know, same regular expression, but only print the fourth field. And then we could run it. And now we get those salaries. Great. If you're running an aux script inside of, you know, an R markdown document, you could have a code chunk and just have it run an aux value like this, pass in an R value and just sum it. And there you go. Done. You know, plenty of other ways of doing it with R, but like, you know, here's a single one-liner, you know, awk manager print for, done. There's your, there's your values. And awk is really useful for just really powerful one-liners to do something. So with awk comes a couple, you know, built-in variable values. So if I have a string, hello world, you know, it's uh, got a space between those two words, so it's two separate values. If we were going to print out each value, it would be dollar sign one, dollar sign two. But we're going to pipe the whole string into awk and we're just going to print dollar sign zero. What is that going to do? That prints the entire line. So the dollar sign zero is a built-in variable that will print the entire line. Now there's another 
built-in um, value called nr, or the number of records. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the same amount of records that we had for these um, employees and their salaries, pipe it into awk, and we're going to print the number of records. So each one, it will actually say the number of that record. It's basically like an index column where it just says, this record is number one, number two, et cetera, et cetera. If we add a dollar sign to the nr variable, it'll actually print out four pieces of information and then four blank. Why is it doing that? So the number of records is eight. So what it's doing when you add the dollar sign like this is that it is taking the first record and printing out the first eight values. There's only four values in the record, which is why we have four blanks. This is not usually the behavior you want. So one thing we can do is we can say, mm -mm -mm -mm. let's do nr comma dollar sign zero. So the number of records and the entire line, and it will print out all of the values. So it's saying the number of records we have is one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight, and we're going to print out the entire line. So it's printing out the entire line for all eight records. If we add the dollar sign back to nr, our number of records, that is not the behavior we want. So different instances can do different things. <clears throat> Turn that. So we also have another one called nf, or the number of fields. So if I run all the same records through awk with print nf, the number of fields is a list of how many fields are currently available on each line. If I added another one where I just added hello, right that, like that, this one is actually five now. So this one will actually be able to tell you exactly how many uh, pieces of information are in each line. If you set a delimiter to be like a comma, like you have a CSV, and you have you want to make sure that none of the lines have greater than um, this specific amount of data fields, this is the way to do that. Um, so we can do, let's see, dollar sign one nf. <clears throat> what do you think this is going to do? You're going to print out the first um, column based on the number of fields it has. Okay, interesting. Ah, so this way we're able to say this person, because we're printing out the first column, has this many uh, number of fields in their record. So what we're also going to do is dollar sign nf. So in this way, dollar sign nf makes it a variable and says, what is the number of fields? Well, if the number of fields in a record is four, then that means it's going to be the number four, in which case before this just displayed the number four because it was telling us the count for the entire record. But now with a dollar sign, it's actually returning the fourth record. So in this case, if you wanted to always print out the last value in any of these records, you could always just print dollar sign nf. Next we have <clears throat> formatting your output. So in this case, all the records are going to awk. We're printing out the number of records. So that it means basically in this instance, because we don't have a dollar sign, it is printing out the index column, one, two, three, all the way to eight. We're also adding a string here, which is just a dash separator, and then the first value in the column, or the first column value, which is the name. So if we run that, you get the index, a dash, and then the name of the individual. So it's a cool way of formatting you know, your own specific output. We also have a couple special pieces of information. There's also the begin and end operators in awk, and they have specific uses. So begin and end are special conditions that are triggered once per run, and I have the documentation here from a website about awk, and begin gets triggered before the processing of any line. So before anything is processed, anything after begin will be run. End is something that happens after all the processing has been completed. So for instance, we're going to run all these records through awk, print the number of records, it just gives you the index, but we're gonna first, now we're gonna put begin ahead of that operation. What do you think is gonna happen? Zero. No calculations have been done yet. So currently, 
the number of records is zero because we haven't calculated anything. That's what begin is telling us. If we put end, what do you think this behavior is going to be? It is a single eight because after all of your in all your processing has been done, now you're saying print the number of records. We've processed all eight of these records, so now the number of records is eight. Oops. Lastly, one really useful thing with awk is say you're dealing with a TSV or a tab separated values uh, file, CSV or some other weird delimiter could be anything, a space, a colon, a dash, a forward slash, whatever. With awk, you could specify with the capital F option and then immediately following it, the delimiter. And we could say in this instance, all of these fields are separated with forward slashes. Weird usage of a, that as a delimiter, but in this case, we want to print out the first and the last columns, or in this case, the name and the salary of the individual, and we're using the forward slash as the delimiter. Now currently, as the script is written, it will work. Really cool, but what if, say, uh, there's some data entry errors, and some of these forward slashes are actually commas, and some of them are a dash, for whatever reason. If we try to run this now, some of the values are missing. And that's kind of annoying. Well, awk for its delimiter specification here can actually take a regular expression. Now it has to be wrapped in single quotes, but if we do single quote and then in square brackets, which says any of the characters contained within, we're going to specify all three of those text characters and the single quotes. And there we go. And let's see what the output is. Exactly what we would expect because it's now recognizing any of those characters as delimiters between the fields. So this is a really powerful thing. And basically this means that when you're doing things where you grep the values and then you pipe them into awk to return a specific numbered value or a column, you no longer need grep. You can basically just run the regular expression as part of awk and then print out your field. It saves a process call and it just works. So recently I just took this and ran with it a little bit. I redid my um, YouTube subscription uh, script that runs in my status bar. I was doing a grep and then pulling out with awk all of those, um, all the text and then getting the specific value of subscribers to my YouTube channels into my status bar. But now I just added the subscribers regular expression here and it completely solves my problem and I don't even need to call grep for this. So it's one less process call. So that's how you can use awk for some basic uh, examples in your workflow. Awk is a really powerful tool. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it, and it really earns its place in your toolbox as a powerful one-liner. Uh, it's good for, for one-liners. Really pulling out some complex operations dealing with um, tabular data, such as CSVs, and just saying, just give me that value. Just give me the fourth value on this output. And it's really easy to just get what you want instead of doing some complex operation with regular expressions and grep and sed and other stuff. You could just say, hey, awk, give me the fourth value. Done. And it's a single one-liner. So before I go, thank you to Devin, who is my patron on Patreon. Thank you for supporting the channel. And to everybody watching, I'll see you next time.